Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's St. Patrick's Day today. Um, I'm pre-filming because I won't have time to film any time after this. So um, that's why my eyes are looking pretty leprechaun-ish. I love this look, you guys. I really am kicking myself in the ass for not filming this because I know people are going to ask me for it. I, I, I'm I obsessed. <laughs> There's no other words. I hate using that word, but it's there. Um, all right, so I'm going to stop babbling and pretending that I'm your best friend in the whole world because I suck. Um, this project pan Needless to say, I was a little busy with a lot of things um, and I didn't do the greatest. So I'm not going to be able to compare myself to Courtney because she's going to sit there and hold up everything in the pan and say, look, I finished all of these up in the first two days. And then I brought in this and used that up. And then I used up my entire makeup collection in the end because Courtney is a rock star with pans, whereas I clearly am not. So I'm going to show you the progress I did make. And I do still have a few more days to work on these, which I obviously will. Um, but not, you know, it's not a long period of time. So maybe I'll put these in a future project or I'm not really sure, but I did decent for the amount of times I wore makeup. So we're gonna start off with the uh, eyeshadow that I had in this project pan. I should probably tell you what this was. This was my own idea for project pan. I invented it, hello, and I failed at it, great. Um, it was called the uh, Thank You Next project pan named after Ariana Grande's song. Basically products that we do like, but we wouldn't repurchase for one reason or another. Something we got something from, but just, you know, thank you, next. Okay, got it. Four products, four. <laughs> I'm not with it today, you guys. I just filmed for Wax Wednesday. Um, it is basically my my wax candle home fragrance side of my channel. So I'm a little winded for that. Um, yeah, so this was a cream shadow out of the BH Cosmetics and Shan XO eyeshadow palette. Um, when we started, I had barely any pan at all. I think we had just barely hit pan. So as you can see, I mean, come on, I used a lot. There is barely anything left. I. I will finish this probably in a matter of days. I use this to set my eyeshadow primer. So that one I consider a pretty good win. I also had a bronzer. Now this one I had just the tiniest dot of pan in, like just barely hit pan. And I did say that I wanted to extend the pan to the center of the sun embossing in this, which I definitely, definitely did. So again, this one I'm also very excited for my progress. Um, I don't know if you can see it on camera. There is a massive dip in here. So although this pan isn't overly huge, this is like paper thin all through here. So I, again, consider this a huge win. This is the New York or NYC smooth skin why can't I speak NYC smooth skin bronzer in the shade sunny I don't think they sell this in the United States anymore I do like it but I've since found things I like better so I wouldn't repurchase that I will obviously finish using that up though um, and then the two that I didn't do the greatest on, this one I did better than the last product we're gonna talk about. Um, this was the Urban Decay uh, Hi-Fi Shine Lip Gloss in the shade SPL, just a deluxe size sample. So again, we started with this thing pretty much brand new. I think I used it a handful of times. So if you look really closely, you can see pretty much through the entire packaging. It's settled at the very, very bottom, which I can't even get to without taking the stopper out. Um, but overall, when I do use this and try to get it out, it's very, very difficult to get some onto the little applicator. So this is, I mean, pretty close to done. Um, I wear this a lot. I actually like the way this uh, applies and the cooling sensation you get from it. I just don't particularly like that particular shade because it leaves almost like a blue toned cool uh, like glitter on the lips, which doesn't go very well with everything I wear. So that's that. And last but not least, this is like my fail. Now, considering the color and like the shade that it is and the time of year that it is, um, I didn't do too bad, but I, I definitely could have done better. Hey guys, Future Shay here. Um, obviously, we lost some footage along the way, so really quick, gonna finish off this video and go wrangle some kids, get myself something to eat and drink, and then go chill out for the day. Um, last product was the Bite Beauty lipstick in the shade Thistle. Now, I do have this on my lips, topped with a warmer toned gloss, because this makes me look like a corpse. I mean, straight up corpse. It's very gray. We've talked about this before. I'm not going to dive into it, but I got a little bit of progress. Was it, you know, as much as I wanted to? Not even close. Um, but I realized throughout the course of this project pan, more so than any other one, that I really need to watch what I'm buying as far as things like shades or finishes or whatever. They can look great on other people, but just if it's not my thing, I don't want to have to force myself to love it or force myself to use it, etc. So this lipstick kind of in itself really made me realize to narrow down 
really what I love and just kind of cut back buying all the new hot things that everybody's liking, if that makes sense. So anyway, I did mark this when we started um, on the cap and rolling it up to the piece of plastic, we did get, I mean, I got some use. That's for me, for this color, that's quite a bit of use, especially because I literally probably only wore makeup maybe eight times in this project. That's a big deal um, to me at least. So yeah, I guess overall I should look at this as a positive and say, hey, I used up a bunch of something that I otherwise wouldn't have. But at the same time, it's like, ugh. I failed. <laughs> I didn't do as well as I wanted to. So that being said, I think on the next project I do, I'm going to really pay more attention to what I'm including in the project um, and really use things that I want to focus down. Like this wasn't something that I wanted to reach for. It just, it never called to me. So I think that was part of the reason why I didn't reach for it more because it just was like, oh, I got to use that again. It just, it's just not a cool thing to do. So Sadly, this didn't get used up, but it also opened my eyes, which I would have to consider a win. So that is it, you guys. That is the absolute just miserable truth of this project. And it sucks it had to happen on the one that literally I came up with. Like I was so proud of the idea of this and everything else, and then I totally flopped it. It is what it is. It happens to the best of us. So thank you guys for watching. I apologize it wasn't overly exciting, but I can promise you that the rest of the videos coming are going to be. So thank you guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Just if you feel sorry for me, it's okay. You can subscribe because you feel bad for me. Pity, pity sub. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do still love you all and I will see you on the next video. Bye guys.